Hello and welcome to another YouTube video here on iDustrial Revolution. Again, something different this time, it's the answer to the Final Cut Pro trivia question that we posed on the end of the video about rendering in Final Cut Pro 10 and does it affect export times. We asked you what was the original time code on the Final Cut Pro app icon. Time to go back many years and dig out an early copy of FCP out of the loft. If you like our videos, we would appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. And of course, we love the comments and guesses on the last video. Okay, on to the answer. When I said I've been rummaging around in the loft, I wasn't joking. I've been trying to find the old boxes. Look, there's a copy of uh, Creative Suite 2. Obviously, you can't run that now, otherwise Dolby Labs are gonna hit you with a lawsuit. I think that's a Studio 3 box. Deck link box and nothing in it. This is quite interesting over here. So we've actually got a shake four box, a bit dusty. There, get rid of that. But I think in here we have what we might be looking for. So we have here got DVD Studio Pro, some manuals. Final Cut Pro user three user manual. That is what we're after. So it's, we will take that and we will take that. What's that? Uh, okay, yeah, okay. And that is that is an original motion box, by the way. There we go. Original box for motion. And then we have. Final Cut Pro 3, and as you can see, there is no time code on this icon. But that's actually the icon on the box. That's not the box, that's not the actual icon of the app with the with the eye, obviously. So that's I'm gonna take that one. And then here it gets even more interesting because we have a copy of Final Cut Pro 4, and that's a different clapperboard, but on the bottom. It's got 06244829 as the code, which throws a bit of a spanner in the works. And also, is that a comma on the bottom, uh, by, by on the left of the 29, because it's drop frame time code. And this is the key, really, to the answer, is the 29 on the end. Now that 06, I think that changed as well, but we're gonna do a bit of digging. Got a couple of screen grabs as well, but certainly Final Cut Pro 4 said 06244829 on the icon, but did it ever say it on the icon of the app? So it's on the box, but maybe not on the app. After surviving a very dusty um, loft area, and I've got both books out. So this is Final Cut Pro 3, and it says about learning the interface and everything, but actually there's nowhere in the front of here that shows the actual icon, believe it or not. Which is a bit disappointing because I thought that'd be the answer. So nothing in there, and also nothing in 4 either. Although, as we said, we do have this time code, 06244929, with the drop frame indicator on there. But that's the wrong code, as we said. Right, so what is the right code? Many people said the code was 424820, but this is wrong and I'll explain why. The original code was 424829. This change in FCP 4.5 to be more suited for European users who will never get above 25 frames a second. Searching the internet for an icon to show that time code was a nightmare. I found one, although it's rather small, and it does show the correct time code. What's interesting here on the icon is that the last colon isn't a colon, it's half a colon, and that designates the fact that it's drop frame time code. Who was the first person to answer correctly? Well, if we scroll down, there's quite a few comments. If we keep going down... William Buchanan had a good go. He said 424-4829, but he's got colons throughout the time code. So that's a good guess, really, really close. And also it was one of the first ones to say 29 frames as well. If we actually go back up, then Stuart Moore got it absolutely correct. 424-4829 
with just um, the full stop there to show the drop frame. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer a license of our very popular toolkit plugins for Final Cut Pro 10 to Stuart and to William because they got the closest and also I did say time code so whether it had the colon or not didn't really matter in the end but congratulations to those two. So that's it, that's the answer to the question. Let me know in the comments below on this video if you'd like me to put another trivia question on the end of our next tutorial because I think it makes everything fun and people like joining in but until the next one, goodbye. <laughs>